to, and this is probably true for most of us, like our families or the environments that we grew up in, there were stories we were being told about ourselves from a very, very, very early age. A lot of the time when you're a kid, you don't, I mean, you haven't been in the world long enough or developed enough analytical skills to challenge that or to be like, no, I don't know if I'm the troublemaker. I'm just not happy and I'm trying to get your attention, mom, right? Like that's a really nuanced sentence. And when you hear the term like, that's a problem child, or that person, like that kid doesn't want to study or that kid doesn't want to whatever. I think those are things that you take in and they become part of, again, this identity and the story that you're telling yourself about yourself. Well, it occurs to me, and this is an aside, that maybe birth order and the stereotypes ascribed to birth sure. order are, are narrative because Totally. By the time the big sister is age three and the infant is crawling around, then he's super chill and she's super organized, totally. right? Totally. Well, in fact, actually, she used to be super chill and now she's a little bit more mature. And, and so there's sort of... Or a, the parenting's changed. Well, Generally, it's, that's what happens. The parents are more experienced now. Exactly. Yeah. The parents aren't terrified they're going to kill their infant child right, anymore right. because they've done it once before and they're like, oh, kids are hard to kill. I've, I've seen it with, you know, with my beloved sister and her family that, that just once they scratch oh. the surface with their first kid, the second kid was a same parents slightly different style of parenting exactly yeah exactly I have a sister that's 13 years younger than me we have different parents in a lot of huh. ways with huh. completely different experiences of parenting completely different experiences of, of being able to go out of, of freedom of all of that and so that's not because inherently me and my sister are so different that we require different styles of like you know, like a, a different lengths of the leash you know it's just because our parents were different yeah, th this ties back to what I was thinking about how we're different people when we're teenagers too. So in a sense, this narrative contextualization applies, can apply to almost everything because mm -hmm. really the same parents who are, who, and parents are invariably, in my experience, idealistic, they can really be different people and raise different people totally. at different times of their own lives. Just like when you're a five foot two ninth grader, you're a different person than a six foot two twelfth grader. Completely. Right? And that, and it were, it's also, I mean, think about like romantic relationships, right? Like, I don't know if you've read Esther Perel's Mating in Captivity. It's I so haven't. good. Well, so, I mean, that there's also that idea of like the task of marriage, for example, is like how to stay married to somebody who's different than the person you married. Okay. Because things, because oh. that person evolves, they change. That's a great consideration. And so the story of the, of the romantic partner is that a lot of times that causes, that's what causes friction in relationships is that you meet somebody, you fall in love, whatever you decide to, you want a, a courtship or you want to enter a relationship with them, which is essentially just a social contract, right? Whether you're married or not, you enter this relationship. And a lot of the times it's based on the story that you've told yourself about the mm. partner and about yourself. I mean, this isn't like monogamous relationships, obviously. It's like about the partner and about yourself. That story gets challenged because people change. And then that's where the tension is because you're like, well, no, but that's not the story that I thought it was. You're not the person I thought you were. And I think we would rather a lot of the times just discard the person than adjust the story. <laughs>